Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Ark the Lad 2. In the last episode, we, uh, I showed off some Ark the Arena monster quests, and I have decided that I am going to do the monster stuff, uh, after all. I will do that as, uh, I don't know if it'll be bonus to this game afterwards, or if it will be, um, <clears throat> if it will be, uh, what is it? Anyways, uh, or if it'll be, like, its own separate LP. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, I have a little thing to tell you. I didn't actually end up using, um, those apples and whatnot due to the fact that, um, you know, it would just take too damn long. So what I did was I used the Dykebeck code to put him in with max EXP and just gave them all around about the... The levels I was going to. Also, I recruited a couple of new monsters: Grim, Cloud, Pratt Pre, Grim. Wait, I already have I already have Grim, two Grims. I'm gonna have to rename him. I'll call him uh, Ghosty, I guess. Sure. There we go. There we go, his name is Ghosty now. Anyways, let's go over who else we have. Anyways, so I have Ghosty, Pondent, Cloud, Pratt Pre, Grim, Jordan, Fiji, Eric, and Draco. As you can see, I've leveled everyone up quite considerably. Probably double of what they had. So let's go over their stuff. As you can see, Ark has learned all of his things. I've actually gone over to... I've gone over to, uh, what's-her-name and collected two abilities, Invincible and Might Mind. I'll probably go over and show it. Anyways, here we got Poco. Here's his stats. Here's his spells. We've got Tosh here. His stats and his spells. I gave him Explosion and Speed Up. Ega. Stats. Spells. Gogan, who actually has grown considerably with his magic power. And, uh, yeah, there's his stats and spells. Elk, his equipment, his stats, spells, and that good stuff. He's working on Divide. I think, actually, you can level those spells up if you get them from Mother, uh, what's her name? Anyways, here's Lisa, and the only reason why she went up so many levels is because she has that Silk Belt equipped, which apparently gives her double the experience, which I think even works with the Dykebeck stuff. So that's pretty cool. Here's Shantae. And all of her spells that she has. Shoe. All of his gear. All of his spells. Look at all that good stuff. Dykebeck. Sadly has now become semi-inferior. Because his, his stats are not nearly as good as everyone else's. Which is kind of a shame. Here's Sonya. Everything that she's equipped with. And yeah. There we go. Gruga. He's got some massive power and massive defense. He is at 100 in the defense area. There's his abilities. Keylack, pretty good. Pretty good. And there we go. Yeah, so I apologize if people are mad that I used the code. But you know what? I, uh... I needed to, uh, do this. Because I'm not spending all day, uh, trading apples. That would take forever. I would do it. Don't get me wrong. These are the levels that, like, when I originally played the game... These are the levels that I actually, like, leveled up when I was fighting. Anyways, I gave Raijin and Fujin. They got all kinds of new abilities. Odon, he's just really powerful. He doesn't really learn anything new, and you can't really give him anything. Choco, she's super powerful. She's got a lot of magic, too. She's got all these abilities. The last two are usually the ones that I gave her, like uh, Supernova and Explosion. Those are, those are the abilities that Mother Claire... Anyways, here's Ghosty. He's pretty good. He's got uh, uh, a lot of good spells here. And I gave him two. I think Tornado and something else. Anyways, Pawnet. He's got his Thunder Breath and his uh, Blizzard. Now he can use that. We got Cloud. And he's got Cure, which I that we got from Mother uh, Claire or Grandmother Claire. But yeah, here's all the stuff that he's learning. Or she. I think it's a he. Pratt Pre from uh, Game of Thrones. Anyways, he's learning a lot of nice things. We got Grim, the Grim Reaper here. 
Not very strong, but the magic is really good. Got tornado death explosion. Anyways, I'm gonna be showing these monsters off in the um, in the monster arena. And here's Jordan with his badassness. I changed him over to a sickle, so he can use that. But look at all the good stuff he's learning. Anyways, Theji actually didn't learn any cure yet, although I'm sure if you go up some more levels, he might. Eric, you know what? His defense getting better. Not too shabby there. Anyways, here's his abilities. And finally, Draco here, who uh, has got really good defense, really good attack. And there you go. So, there we go. So, yeah, I just used the Dykebeck code. I apologize if you guys really cared. But I also, um, uh, you know, I also, you know, I caught some monsters. And, uh, turned them into certain things. We'll go to Grandmother Claire, I guess. And then I'll go over to, uh, Brachia, where I can show you what I did with all the items. I basically, uh, leveled them up as well. Everything, I, ma I basically maxed out everything. Gave it extra offense, and if you personalize stuff, it will actually give uh, it'll actually give you more stats when someone is equipped with it. So it's pretty cool. So like if you personalize an item for Ark, Ark will actually get some extra like power and stuff like a, a, something else if you do that. I believe. Anyways, here we are, Grandmother Claire's house, and let me show you what I did with the abilities and we can sell these monsters for this is it really I guess they only go 10 I guess they only go 10 every every level anyways here's what I here's what this guy started out as a grim stalker and I turned him into a red phantasm I didn't want to turn him into a black wraith just because um, I would rather him a ghost so he can use that head thing with pawn it I'm keeping pawn at the same one, it will always be the blue doggy dog that he is. Cloud, he started off as a poison cloud, and I turned him into a, uh, what the hell is it? What the hell is he? He's like a death cloud, I think it's called. Anyways, I could turn him into a mage schmog, but, and he'd have a lot of ma more magic, but I figured I'd just keep him like that. Prep pre, he was a high wizard at first. I made, I have made him into a whatever the hell he is now. But he started out as a high wizard. Uh, him, he started out as a death wizard, and I turned him into whatever the hell he is now, which I forget what it is. Grim, I think Grim Reaper thing. And then Jordan started out as a gargoyle, and now he's like high gargoyle or something like that. Arc gargoyle. I turned him into a, he used to be a serpent, now he's a great serpent, and then the, uh, Eric was a fighter, and now he's a, he's a robber guy. Sadly, I can't turn him into anything else, which is a shame, but there we go. Now let's look at abilities that I gave everyone. Might mine invincible diamond dust, might mine explosion speed up, mud storm strike power supernova, might mine. Divide Protection, Mudstorm, Dispel, Divine Judgment, Rob Mine, Tornado Extract, Can't Give Anything, Divide, Paralyze, Wind, Invincible, Strike, Power, Divide and Holy Breath, Confuse and Sleep, Wind, Span Range and Blizzard, Pe Petro, Wind and Speed Up, Paralyze, Wind, Speed Up, Nothing for You, Supernova and Explosion, hmm. Divine Judgment and Mesmerize Breath, Blizzard and Thunder Breath. Cure, I gave him Cure and uh, Wind Slash, so that's pretty nice. Earthquake and Might Mind, which would be very good. Um, Resurrection, Tornado, Divine Judgment, Divide. Wind Slash and Diamond Dust. Petro Wind and uh, Dark Breath, Tornado and Paralyzed Wind. So there you go. Those are the abilities that I gave everyone. Extra abilities that you can have. So now we're pretty much, well, we're not really top of the game. I mean, you can actually go, from what I was looking at, <clears throat> you can actually go to level 999, 1000, basically, um, which is pretty cool. Now, before we head into, into Romalia, let's head over to Brachia. I'm going to show you the, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the, uh, the blacksmith now, because, uh, now... He, you keep pouring money into this guy, and he gives you uh, this thing here called uh, 
called uh, Personalize. And yeah, that's what I did. I basically maxed out everyone's stuff, raised the offense abilities of everything, gave it more levels and all that. So yeah, you got all this good stuff here. And yeah, we got lightsabers and stuff and dyke nails. And personalize, you can personalize things like this dyke nail. You can give it a dyke back there, it would give them more power and stuff. And you can't raise any item level, you can't add any item effects, sadly. You can judge items, though. A legendary sword blessed by the power of the blah blah blah. But yeah, there we go. We got all that good stuff, so you can do all this cool stuff. And this guy is called the Master Smith. What was I gonna do? I was gonna do one thing. Oh yeah, let's use these since uh, since we can't. Uh, let's give him the. There you go, Sonya. You've gone up two levels. How about that? Let's see who else. Uh, Ark, sure. Ark went up two levels. Ah, eh, Gogan, sure. You went up one. Sure, have another. Um, who else would I probably be using? Ah, Gruga, sure. One more for Arky. And what the hell, Gogan. There you go. Now we've used up all the things. So let's head out. Now we're gonna head to Romalia. Finally. We're gonna end this game by ending the Emperor of Romalia. And we're gonna use our super powerful guys. Although, really, <clears throat> they're uh, just basically... Personally, they're just basically... Uh, um, they're just, you know, now we're just even keel with the rest of the monsters in this game. Personally, uh, that's what it is. And now here we are in Zalbag's chamber. Apparently this guy is ready to, uh, this guy is ready to, uh, take out the Emperor. Look at that, bad guys always, uh, they're always backstabbing each other. The energy has been transferred to the Sky Castle. Okay, so apparently they have some sort of trump card that we don't know about. But as long as Kukuru is there, you know, they can't really uh, break the seal on the evil one. And here we are in, in Honfoy again. Right, look. Oh, look, here's some, uh, here's some bad guys. Yeah, you are a bit short on men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure you will. So it's about time... The pa Oh, you're gonna paint the town red with our blood. So let's use Shu, let's use Tasha as it is sort of, sort of, kind of a homecoming. Um... Whatever, Sonya... Let's show off, uh, let's show off our, uh, our new fellas here. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be swapping between guys and everything. There we go, beautiful. Yeah, these guys probably won't stand a chance. Let's show off, uh, let's show off Dark Destructor, huh? Command the darkness. Wow, she just ate that guy with her crazy ass dragon. And look, she used a card. Huh. Interesting. We might see cards later, so let's show off Tornado. With the amount of magic that they have, they have been totally destroyed. Don't worry, the game's gonna get harder. 
Anyway, so we took out these guys, and now we get a try shot, which is some sort of weapon. Shoe. For shoe, probably. Yeah, there's gotta be a ton more. Yeah, there's probably some sort of way. Maybe if we break up into groups. Yeah, we can't just stand out of here. Stand out here. How to evade their security. Alright, so Shu is gonna be our leader guy. Let's head over to the Han Fine Bar as we did once once before. Apparently it's locked up. Or no, maybe oh bad memories. Yeah, the resistance used to have a base. And Danny basically got them all killed. You guys remember Danny. I have to tell everyone Shu and Tosh are in danger. They you know what? You really didn't have to do the fact that we basically had everything under control. But whatever. Sure. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to take out some more Romalians. Finish them! And let's, th this time, let's use Choco. Let's use Ki, uh, Moanfly there. Uh, let's use Hemoji. Uh, Poco. Uh, what the hell, let's show off Grim. Alright, Choco, let's show off your new ability. Called Simulate. Choco becomes real big, and she actually becomes Okura. I don't even know if I want to... I'm just going to wait for these a-holes to come closer. Because they're as good as dead now that Choco has turned into her monster form. Choco is a monster! What are you doing? Come at us. Alright, let's show off what Choco can do. Now that she can... I can't use any... I guess, uh... Oh yeah, let's show this. No. Oh. I thought you can do like a, a win. Let's use simulate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. These are the abilities that she can use. Vanish. Let's try this one. Oh, no. Oh, you're turning back into Choco. Damn, that was bad. Anyways, let's show off this, I guess. Hell stairs. Let's see. There we go. Pretty cool. Let's show off something you've got. Mudstorm. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Mudstorm. See, Moanfly isn't terrible. He's actually pretty good. Alright, let's have Choco... Well, maybe I'll just have to wait for next time. She'll turn into her monster form and then really rip, rip at him. But yeah, I guess the Romalians are, they're really, uh, they're really looking for us. Um, what do you have? Hmm. Let's show off Dark Breath. Yeah, I guess I'll have to wait for the next turn to use Choco. We don't even need to use Poco. I mean, he you, you know how he rolls. With symbols. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll show her next time. There'll be plenty more enemies to fight. Trust me on that one. Anyways, it looks like we're going to be hassled by all these soldiers. So I'm actually going to stop the episode here. In the next episode, we will continue exploring Honfoy. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later.